Hello everybody, so right now I am at the Lizard Peninsula in Cornwall and I thought great opportunity to give a bit of a van tour as I've not done one since it is finished or 99.9% .9 finished, I might have put a heater in yet and I've got a slight bit up under the bed to finish off cladding wise and yeah, just at the back. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to do a tour around my Peugeot Boxer L4 extra long wheelbase 2014 um, I'll do an external one, external view first and then I'll show you inside. So it is pretty much standard on the outside. I've not done anything to the wheels yet or anything like that. Um, all I've done is put um, four windows. So I've got a fixed uh, bonded window on this side. Then I've got an opener, universal window. And then round the other side, it's the opposite way around. So I've got the big one, which is an opener and then the fixed universal one and then i've got my electrics hookup point which i've not used yet actually i've not needed it got the sort enough solar and charge from just driving and uh, it's a nice day today so i've got full solar charge and coming around the other side um i have got my water fill up point with the 75 liter underslung tank underneath Okay, so coming in, I have pretty much tried to tidy it for the video <laughs> as I've been living in this for the past two weeks. So I'm going to, I don't know where to start actually. Um, right, we'll start at the sofa bed. <laughs> so this is a handmade sofa bed. Um, forgot actually where we got it from. I think it was just it, it was just a flat pack. So we just built it. It's just uh, literally, as you can see, a plywood flat pack sofa bed. Um, quite dear actually, it was, I think it was about £300, um, the IA was £300, that was the sofa bed, it's quite expensive really for what it was, uh, but we did have to put it together anyway, and then we just put a throw on, I just put a throw on top, and, um, and then the cushions um, just resting against the, the cladding there, that's all I've done with that, and uh, we, every time I say we, I did it with my neighbour, my friend, he's helped me every step of the process for, with this van, uh, so I, even I'm solo travelling, I did all of the build with my friend, my neighbour, my great friend, who's uh, such a uh, such a help to me. He was. So this was new. We'd only done this a few weeks ago. The little shelf area, and then obviously this is the sliding window. So all the cladding was from berries. So this is literally tongue and groove cladding all over the van to match all over really the ceiling, which is my favourite part actually. So this is all tongue and groove cladding, which we had to shape around things like the air fan, the Max Air Fan Deluxe, which I've got flies stuck in, and the spider. No, that's a fly, actually. So that was a bit difficult. And then we had to kind of, this bit was a bit difficult because it was, the the pieces only was like three meters. So this was three meters from the top to here. And then, so obviously we've had to recut another section for this bed section here, or half of the half of the bed is, is that side and, and it carries on here. So this is the main bit. And then we just had to, do that as a separate section uh, and this on the back the bottom of that door isn't finished cladding yet because there's been a number plate light problem so i haven't finished that and neither with these because of the number plate light again because of the electrics in that so i've yet not done that and there's a bit of heat actually escaping from there at the moment it was cold the other night at uh, dartmoor so these are my i've just got a few, few bits of storage for the books i've used i've used it for books you can use it for anything my favorite books my book actually yeah, the age of albion um, check it out if you're interested in stories. Um, it is a fiction book, but it's based on you know the truth, the the true human spirituality, the Age of Albion, Holy Wells, Cornwall. That's what I'm looking for at the moment. Uh, that's a very interesting book, Spine of Albion, which is the energy ley line that goes through the British British Isles from the Isle of Wight, I think it is, all the way to Scotland. And yeah, it's a book I have to read. Yeah, I've only just started that. And then my sister's amazing poetry book, The Nourished Soul which is an absolutely incredible book for getting to know your true self. And you, just, you can flick through whatever poem that you want. Even if you open it at a random page, it'll hit you where you need it at that certain moment in time. So anyway, that's the books. And so, yeah, here we've just got a little hand-built shelf, which I'm not sure what to do with it yet right now. I've just got bits and bobs, my lighter and my jewellery and all of that. Um, still got a odd, this slight bit to finish on that window. And... Yeah, I've got some pictures, nice pictures hung up at the moment. So I've got a picture of Merlin and I got a vision um, that I wanted here on this picture. 
I've got my green man on the other side. Again, this is uh, for example here as well. It's a little bit difficult. I've still got to like maybe neaten these edges up a little bit, um, especially yeah on the other side that I just showed you. But here, it, because we couldn't carry on this because the the, the bedroom would be minimalised and it, I needed this to be further back, so I have extended leg room. And I think it looks good anyway having this as a, se a separate section to this here. Uh, I think it looks good. So we've got a good double bed across the width of the van. I can sleep very comfortably across the width of the van, which is brilliant. So, and then we've got the guest bed, which is, I think it's over six foot. So a, easily a six foot long person will be able to fit along there. Uh, then we've got these touch screen lights, which we wired in. So these go blue, they go white. And if you hold them down, they go very bright. So these are these lights. And we built these cupboards by hand. So these, I've just got a few clothes in there at the moment. And this one is just separated into two separate separate compartments there. My curtain across just to separate the bulk, the cab from the the rest of the van. And uh, then we've got the hand-built unit that we've that we've created. We've just uh, built kind of a a gate type cupboard thing <laughs> with um so this is this is just at the moment i'm not even sure what to actually put in these so right now i've just got bits of food in there and uh in on this side just uh again bits of food toilet paper again this is the bits that i have to finish off cladding just below there um because we didn't get around to that before the trip and i've got my gas this is the cat it's a big bottle of the camping gas i'm not sure how long it's going to last yet but um i've been cooking breakfast lunch and dinner and we'll see how long it's going to last and um, then i've got the fridge this is from Just Camp Just Campers, the fridge freezer. So this is um, a really good one. I do recommend it. At first, I thought it was quite noisy, but it has set itself to a good level now, where it's it's off more than it is on. And when it is on, it's not that loud. It is warm today, about 16 degrees in October. Very warm actually. So the view outside the door. Just look at that. Got some friends there parked up in their van. Absolutely brilliant. And yes, with the tap. This is a simple, cheap swivel tap, which you can use as a bit of a shower if you want to. I used it to wash my feet the other day. And uh, decent, cheap sink as well. That's all you need. Uh, just cold water. I uh, have no shower in it because I'd, I'd in the van because I, I wanted the room for the sofa bed. And you can just get shower at campsites or service stations or wherever. I don't feel like um, you need that many showers in the week anyway. Two to three, you know, is enough. So then I've got obviously got my teddy bear. <laughs> he comes, in, he has to come with me. And, um, and then this is the two, you know, uh, uh, the normal stove two burner. So we've got a bigger burner and a smaller burner. And um, you can actually use, you, you can, if you're plugged into the mains, you can use it without a lighter. But obviously with, you, if you're not, you need a lighter to, to light this gas. And uh, it's a, yeah, it's a decent stove. I'm not sure where it was from actually. Uh, I actually get, got this fitted professionally. And so I think what I did, what I did get done professionally is the gas, the windows and the electrics. And um, I didn't want to cut in my own van. I didn't fancy wiring, but all of the build I've uh, done myself. So I'll uh, link whoever the, the guy that's done this for me. If in case you're interested in contacting him as well, um, he's done a great job with the electrics and the windows and the air fan actually, because obviously that's a hole drilled into the van as well. So this is a Max Air Fan Deluxe, which is a extractor fan and a blower. So it has ten settings overall. So I think that is just about everything. Uh, under the bed is the electrical system uh, and in fact I'll show you the electrical system it is a bit of a mess underneath the bed at the moment because I'm not sure I'm not really organized properly exactly how I want to do it yet but it is a Renergy system so we've got a 220 watt solar panel on the roof which goes to 240 I think depending um, on how I think it like reflects heat off the van itself so we've got 100% charge day from the sun. I've not driven for two days, so that's a good good amount of charge. So the big energy system with no inverter. I don't, I don't need an inverter uh, for what I do. So I didn't want to spend money on that. And as you can see, just a bit of cladding needed on that left-hand side. Them drawers are what the, they come out. These are what are in the main van, them drawers. And then um, again, this is the vinyl that we use um, for the whole flooring. This is just a vinyl from a carpet right carpet right i think i've got a bit of a stain on it already need to clean that um i'll do that in a minute <laughs> so yeah i think that is everything peugeot boxer 2014 so if you are 
interested in the guy that is uh, helped me out on this van, I'd really recommend TW Campers if you're around the area in Preston, um, which is based in a place called Hutton down Grange Lane. So TW Campers to look that up on the on the internet, and yeah, he's done the electric the electrics for me and the the windows, you know, the air fan, and everything like that. So yeah, I'd really recommend Tom at TW Campers. So I thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, just uh, drop any in the comments. And yeah, I'll, uh, if you do do the same thing as me or if you've already got a van, I might see you on the road. So yeah, keep an eye out for my traveling videos, a lot to come in Cornwall at the Lizard. Got some cows out the window at the moment. Great view to the sea. My favorite place so far in Cornwall here at the Lizard.